What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: How Bari CPC seizes control of APC party structure and break agreement with ACN Tinubu frustrated out of APC. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video now. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button, click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. In several consummate dodgy moves last week, the Conservative Congress for Progressive Change, a bloc led by President Muhammad Buhari, centralizes itself as a key power bloc within the ruling of Progressive Congress out of the party's four foundational political entities, leaving ambitious heavyweight like Ahmed, Bola Tinubu, and other tendencies in the lodge, Luis Achi reports. Last week, successful meeting of all the Progressive Congress, APC's National Executive Committee, NEC, at the Presidential Villa Abuja, dissolution of the party's National Working Committee, and the appointment of Governor Mai Malabuni of Yobe State as the acting party chairman effectively centralizes the Congress for Progressive Change CPC, a bloc belonging to President Muhammad Buhari, out of the four political entities that merged to form the ruling APC as the main force calling the shots. At press time, powerful foundational arrowhead of the ruling APC like Bola Ahmed Tenobu and other found founding political blocs have apparently been adroitly and effectively swept aside. Although the National Working Committee was dissolved at the neck, was supposedly dominated by loyalists of Tinubu and the ousted party chair Adams Oshomole. There is more. With the ruling party in a tailspin amidst crisis in many states, it controlled as its center, it was perhaps obvious that something needed to be done to restore sanity. The, inter the interminable head on collision in a do state between former national chairman of the party Adams Oshomole and his SY protege, Governor Gordon Obaseki, was just one of the crisis epicenter. But apparently, restoration of sanity meant different things to different tendencies within the party. In the thick of the unseemly, unseemly national chair stroke acting national chair tsunami, with each tendency striving to gain advantage, SYAPC National Deputy Secretary Victor Giardam seemingly emerged the anointed figure after receiving the blessings of the President. This was against the background of the Oshomole, Oshomole and the announcement of ex-Governor Ajimobi, now late as the acting National Chair. APC was to later haul in Hilia Deta to stand in for the then sick Ajimobi. However, with Giadom emergence as the acting national chairman, his next appointment, his next assignment was to convene the national, the party's neck meeting. Cut to the bone, it simply turned out that Giadom was used and dumped. When APC emerged after the historic measures with CPC, ACN, ANPP, and APGA, and the new PDP, the ACN and CPC component of the party Behemoth in their right supposedly had an understanding. This was that should a new party win, the CPC will concentrate on the presidency while ACN will control the party machinery. And this had largely remained the operational template until last Thursday, APC neck meeting in Aso Villa. The conservative Northern Hawk had decided that the best option was to recognize Giadam, give him the impression that they were going to ratify his appointment as acting chairman in the light of the court order, which said he could act. There was another court order ordering him to stop parading himself as the APC national chairman, but between the two others, the Buari tendency was thinking which was the best way forward. They couldn't get the Oshomole faction on board to convene the 
net meeting because a substituting court order they knew what could happen in the next meeting the party constitution made it clear that only the national chairman could convene a next meeting they settled on recognizing Yadam, who was desperate to be the national chairman they capitalized on his desperation and assured him that he was the he was the one with Gabashewu's statement openly conveying President Buhari's position, Gyadon felt bolstered. He went ahead to convene the next meeting. He didn't understand that the coup was afoot. Not so much against Oshomole, who had been suspended by the High Court, a ruling letter upheld by the Appeal Court, but against him. After declaring the meeting open, the President's speech and the brief deliberation, the first item of the meeting was to dissolve the old National Working Committee. After that, Giada wanted to speak but was told he couldn't address the neck again as he was no longer a member of the National Working Committee. It was the House of Representatives Speaker, Femi Bajabamila, that raised the point of order. The point of order was sustained and the shock Giada was escorted out of the hall. And that was how Giada's quickie reign ended abruptly. Subsequently, Governor Mai Malabuni of Yobe State, a die-hard APC CPC member, was appointed caretaker party chairman, meaning the presidency and the party machinery is now in the hands of the CPC bloc. This means the ACN have been left in the lodge, not controlling anything. The APC next meeting appointed a 30-member caretaker committee to run the party. The Ketika Committee is to conduct the party national convention to elect new leadership for the APC within six months. The NEC also ratified the APC governorship primary in Edo State, which produced Osagi Ize Iyamu as the party's governorship candidate. Apart from President Buari, others at the NEC meeting included the Vice President, Yemi Osibanjo, State Governors, and the members of the National Working Committee. Tinubu didn't attend the meeting because he was not a NEC member. He has been left in the lodge, totally left out of the picture. Yet Tinubu, seen as a real founder of APC, was the real driver in the formation of APC. His ACN component has lost control of the party machinery, which was what was agreed on way back. A faction of the party, which is loyal to the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Ameshi, has been engaged in an intense and devastating power tussle with the faction loyal to the former governor of Lagos State, Bola Tinubu, who is regarded as the national leader of the party. His tendency within the APC, which Giadon was representing, and which thought it had, it had matters under wrap, has lost out. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum, Atiku Bugudu, last Friday said the neck of APC did no wrong by dissolving the party's National Working Committee and putting in place Ketika Committee. He said Buari is the leader of the party, will never do anything that is contrary to the provision of the party's constitution. But 18 members of the dissolved National Working Committee, loyal to Oshomole, insisted that the neck meeting were the decision Okay, the next meeting where the decision was taken was illegal. They said they were consulting their lawyers and other stakeholders on the dissolution and other decisions taken at the meeting. They have since cotoed. After President Barry controversial dissolution of the National Working Committee of the last of the party last Thursday, he is making moves to break the ranks of the sacked National Working Committee members who have rejected the party's action. The Hilia Deta led National Working Committee in a statement on Thursday said the next meeting where the decision was taken violated APC's constitution. His word, Article 25B of the Constitution of APC, is explicit that only the National Chairman or the National Working Committee is given the prerogative of, consuming, of summoning meeting of the National Executive Committee, NEC, of the party, either for statutory quarterly meeting or for emergency meeting. The same provision of the constitution make it compulsory for a notice of a minimum of 14 days in respect of the statutory quarterly meetings and seven days in respect of an emergency meeting. The statement signed by ETA and other party 
another party acting national secretary Waziri Bulama earlier stated they were studying the unfolding drama and will be consulting with stakeholders and a team of lawyers on the next line of action. In 2018, the PDP leading light led by folks like Waziri Adama, Adamawa and former Vice President Atiko Abaka, former Senate President and Kwara State Governor Dr. Bukala Saraki, House of Representatives Speaker now Sokoto Governor Aminu Waziri Tambowal, former Governor Senator and Minister Rabiu Musa Kongusu, and Engineer Buba Galadima and Kau Baraji had walked away from the 2014 coalition ahead of the 2019 election. The pulling away of the new PDP with its savvy heavyweight combined with the recent reposition of APC squarely hands absolute control of the party to the CPC blocks. Thus, the emerging consensus now is that all that is playing out points to the strategic gaming ahead of the 2023 presidential election. All right, guys, um, ACN have been left out of the equation. ACN, in fact, a coup has just taken place. A lot of you do not actually, if you study and look at what happened last week, when Buhari dissolved the National Working Committee and in place reinstated CPC die-hard member. You get me? The, the, the Your best state governor is a die-hard CPC member. We know Buhari controlled the CPC block. And you all know that in the prelude to the 2015 election that CPC, in fact, the major brokers, CPC and ACN came together and the agreement was that ACN, you understand me, was to control the party while CPC will control the government machinery. You get me? But now what has just happened to just a few, few days ago is a total coup. Where Buari have taken over both the party machinery from ACN and installed his own CPC, you know, uh, loyalist. You get me? Totally leave the ACN blocks out of the equation and what my follow suit is they may want to break away you know you see this guy tenobo is a strategist you get me though what has happened took him on away he never preempted the that's to show you are not god you are not in control of affairs of the world what has just happened now but he will want to re-strategize and what do you want to do you want to get he will want to get the ampp block you understand me and acn to back out of the agreement of APC. You get that? ACN want to go back to form their party, while AMPP will go back to want to form their own party. You get And then they will leave CPC in the code, and APC will break into three. That is what is being planned right now. Just watch out and see how it's going to unfold, because Tinubu, if he tries, after the convention, you know, this new Ketika committee are... Are to actually convene the convention, which is a whole in six months' time. After that convention, if if Tinubu is not satisfied with the outcome of that convention, if he sees, sees there's the coup is still in the making, he's going to break out. So just watch out and see. Right now, Tinubu is suffering uh, a very total. In fact, he's suffering total rejection. And he is left in the cold because he has not been carried along with what has happened. He never preempted Buari that Buari was going to do this. He, the, the reputation he had about Buari was that Buari could easily be controlled and all of that. But with what has just happened now shows that Buari knows what he is doing. He was prevailed upon by the CPC block of his own party. You get me to take control, not to allow Tinubu to take over the party. You know, Tinubu was in charge of the party when Oshimole was in total control of the party, and Oshimole zoned to the southwest. You get that was why he immediately things begin to go out. The CPC block, Barry had to come in to take over the party. So they were the one who caused the crisis in the party, so that they will take over. That's just the truth. They caused the problem in the party with the aim of them taking over. And even Victor, Victor Giardon, look at the way he was used and dumped. You get me? He was just you. So that's the game of these people. This guy used you and dump you. You are nobody. You are nothing. It's a lesson. So Tinubu should learn a lesson from what happened to, to Awolowo. What happened to uh, uh, MKO Abiola? He is not more than these guys. These guys were more than him. But look at the way... But look at the way they were used and dumped. So what do you guys think? I want to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. 
god bless you subscribe to this channel before you leave share our video to your friends on facebook twitter and whatsapp god bless you as you do that thanks for watching this video